This is Marvin, creative director of Plain and Simple. And today I would show you how to use the script that we have developed to create animations like this one. Some people call this repeating animation, cascading animation, or geometrical animation. Because when you look at the animation, this is very basic. But you take that single animation and duplicate it, repeat it, and use offset. This is actually based from a tutorial made by Joey of School of Motion. What the tutorial said, what Joey explained or taught us was how to replicate the tools in Cinema 4D. There's this tool in Cinema 4D called MoGraph Tools that allows you to do this very easily to, to repeat the animation and offset them. But this are not present in After Effects. And Joey showed us in that tutorial how to do that in After Effects using expressions. And here in the studio, expressions is a very complicated thing. And there's a lot of copy pasting code as expression, making it as expression in After Effects. And we think we could even simplify it further by creating a script that would allow to do all of those in a single click. Let's get it on and uh, let me show you. Before we begin, let me show you the project file of the video you have seen earlier. So let me RAM preview this one. So what I did was just duplicate it and use rotation and offset. So let me show that, for example, this the circles right here, this is just the animation for that. So nice and simple. And then use duplicate, then rotate, and use offset. You could create an animation like this one. So let me show you how to, to create something like this. Let's create a new project uh, to have a clean start. I'm going to open a new composition. Okay. So this is the MoGraph tools that we have developed. Let, just a disclaimer, this is not a perfect script. It may have bugs, but I think it does the job. So watch out for this one. Make sure that the pre-comp is unchecked and the rotation is checked. I'll show you what, the, what that does and why did I create an option like this. So first, let's create a very basic animation. So let's create a circle. So this is going to scale in. So just easy ease. Okay, something like that. So the next step, once you have the basic animation that you want, you, you have to pre-comp it. So Command Shift C for Mac. I'm gonna name it maybe circle animation. So please note that this tool only works for a minimum of three layers. So I need to duplicate this animation. This would create an error if I create, click the MoGraph right now. So I'm going to duplicate it three times. One, two, three. Oh, I mean, duplicate it two times, a total of three. It is also important to select this in the right order. So from top to bottom, if you're going to select it from bottom to top, it's going to create an error. Uh, you have to select it from top, then to bottom. Then make sure the pre-comp is unchecked because it's already in pre-comp. Check the rotation because we want to automate the rotation process, then click MoGraph. So automatically, it creates the equal rotation for, for all the layers. So I'm going to RAM preview. So now if you want to add circles, you just have to duplicate it in the middle. So if you look here, there's the first and master. Please do not touch that. It would ruin the code, if you will. If you want to duplicate it, duplicate in the middle, anywhere in the middle. Just not mess up with the first and the master. So I've selected this one and I'm going to duplicate it and it automatically orients. So now I'm going to play it, RAM preview. So now if I want more, I'm just going to duplicate anywhere here. It doesn't matter. 
see it automatically orients. So now if what if you want to create the offset of this one? So there's when you click the MoGraph tool, it automatically creates a null and that null acts as the controller for all of this. So when you select that null and click the effects control, there's this, there's this time offset and random time. So time offset means it offsets the time. So let, let me try negative one. So this offsets by one frame. So if I'm going to put here negative two, it offsets per layer by two frames. So now I'm going to put this to zero again. So what if you want the offset to be in a random number? So that is the reason why this there exists this random time. I'm just going to put here maybe one. So now you could already see that they don't go off at the same time. And it doesn't happen in a linear way. Or I could maybe put it by five frames. Okay, so see this is a very useful tool. So now if I'm going to create another shape, let's say a triangle. So I'm, I'm going to animate this scale and rotation. Okay, okay. rotation. Rotate, then animate with zero so that it animates in and easy ease. Command Shift C, pre comp this one. I'll name this triangle animation. And as I said, this only works for a minimum of three layers. So I'm going to duplicate this two times. A total of three, first select the topmost, then the bottom, then unselect pre-comp, check rotation, then click MoGraph. So it automatically offsets. So the third one is somewhere here. So if I wanna increase the number of triangles, so I'm just gonna select here in the middle and duplicate it. And it automatically, automatically creates and orients the rotation. Okay, so that's basically it. So uh, now I'm going to show you why I created a pre-comp and uh, rotation checkbox. Uh, why, why is this? So I'm going to create a new comp. This is because sometimes there are animation that you just want to offset. You don't want to rotate. So for example, uh, I'm going to create a very basic animations here. So just imagine in your projects, you have like 20 layers, 40 layers, and what you just want to do is to offset them, offset the timing. So it won't be practical if I'm going to go over each layer, if there are like 100 layers, and pre-comp them one by one. So that is why I have created this pre-comp checkbox and the rotation, because if I just want to offset it, I don't want the 
the rotation to be changed. So I'm going to uncheck it and check the pre-comp. So same with, or how we do it before, we start from top to bottom. I have checked the pre-comp layer, then click MoGraph, then it automatically creates the rig, which have the time offset effect, time offset controls. So now let's just put maybe negative five. So so there, so imagine if you have like 100 layers and you just want to offset and pre-comp them. So you just select those layers from top to bottom, uncheck the rotation and check the pre-comp and click MoGraph and it automatically creates a pre-comp for you and creates that rig that controls the offset. So very useful. So uh, that ends my tutorial. I hope you have learned something, something from this and we're going to give away this script for free and hopefully we could see what you make use of this one and that's it.